Hey, hey, so today I'm going to show you how to use layer masks. Layer masks are something that we're going to do in Photoshop, and they are something that I use pretty much every single time I design something. So we're going to get started. This is an example of something that we're going to do. Um, basically, we're going to seamlessly, I guess you can call it stitch, um, different photos together like this so that the background kind of blends nicely. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. First, I'm going to open a new document. So I'm going to go File, New. And you're going to choose your size. I'm just going to do 700 by 500 with a white background. So there is my working background. So now I'm going to take two photos and we're going to um, stitch these together. So first of all, these are actually a little bigger than what I need, so I'm going to resize them. I'm going to go to image, image size, and then here in the width dimension, I'm going to make that uh, let's do 400. And then the same with this one. And then all I'm going to do is drag, grab this, hold it with your mouse button, and drag it into the new document. And do the same with the other one. And I'm just going to resize these a little, so I'm going to select the marquee tool from the toolbar over here. And I'm going to right click on the layer that I'm going to edit and then I'm going to go free transform. And then I'm just holding shift while I grab one of these corner boxes just to make it fit. And then I'm going to hit enter on my number pad to set it. And then the same with this one. You're going to want to click over here in your layers palette. You're going to want to click on layer one. That's the one we want to do next. Right click, free transform, hold shift, grab the corner, and resize so that it fits nicely. Now don't worry about this space because we're going to fix that afterwards. Um, so now um, you can always select your layer by just right clicking on the layer and then selecting layer 2. So now I'm just going to drag this overlapping the first image a little bit. And now we're going to do the masking part, which is what makes this all work. So you can see right now we have a harsh line right here, and you can really tell that these are two separate images. So we're going to go over here to our Layers palette again. If this isn't showing for you, all you have to do is go to Windows, Layers, and make sure that it's checked, and it will show in the uh, sidebar here. So now I'm going to click this third icon here at the very bottom. If you roll over it, it says add layer mask. So we're going to click that and it's going to add um, a layer mask here to your layers palette. And now I'm going to go over to the paint bucket tool in the toolbar, hold your mouse button down and we're going to select the gradient tool. Now at the top toolbar, you're going to see these options changed from what they previously were. Um, you're going to want to choose this first gradient, and you're going to want to make sure that um, the style is on the second one that goes from black to transparent. Um, the little gray and white squares mean that it's transparent. So check that you have those settings properly set. And then we're going to click on the side here of the image, holding shift, drag a line out, and let go. And now you can see that we have a seamless line. So basically what a layer mask does is controls the transparency of certain parts of an image. Um, so basically when you're using a black color paint, 
in Photoshop, you're actually going to be removing parts of the image. So for example, if I choose the paintbrush over here, and I choose any brush, and I were to paint over the image I've selected with the layer mask selected over here. That's important. You have to make sure that this part is whoops, is selected and not the actual layer when you're editing a layer mask. So um, I know that's kind of hard to understand, but if you were to switch colors to make white the foreground color and paint on that, it's going to make it opaque again. See? I'm just painting that back on. So this is very useful for many, many, many things. Um, this is just one example of something that can be done. It's a very simple example. Um, anybody can do this. That's why I decided to show you this way. So now that we've got these blended together, I'm just going to crop it so that this white area is gone. So I'm going to choose the crop tool, which is the fourth tool in your toolbar. I'm going to click, hold the mouse button, and drag just to the edge here. And then I'm going to hit enter on the number pad. And there you have it. There's two images seamlessly stitched together. If I zoom in, you can see you can't see a line. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of layer masking. So give it a try and see what you can come up with. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll probably expand on layer masks in a, another video because it can get a little more complicated than this. Um, but yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. And subscribe.